Is that my camera? Yeah. I'd like to take a moment. You see, there's a veteran named Dave who's been on your show, and he said uh, he was worried that he killed me. I think I might have killed Judy Garland. And I want to say, Dave, if you're watching, you're not responsible, darling. It's, it's all right. You're forgiven. Yes. Well, hello there, handsome. Hello. Wow. My name is Ben Cram. Who's a big boy? You're a big boy. And I'm here to land me a boy man. I am Bendela Cram. Nice to meet you, Bendela. But you don't you. have to call me Bendela. Okay, what should I call you? My friends call me Bedtime BD. Because uh. I like to tuck a big boy in night night. <laughs> you could just go on inside to the house. I'll meet you inside in a few minutes, all right? Oh, we here. Oh, oh it's big. Oh, I hope it's you. Hi. <laughs> My name is Kennedy, I'm from West Dallas, and I'm here to meet my man. Oh, you is fine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh yes, yeah, honey, I yeah. love the party, too. Hold on one second. Okay. Oh. Okay, all right, you come prepared. <laughs> as I'm looking into Jeffrey's eyes, I just get so moist inside. I got to have you, baby. You better be watching. Be watching. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first ever RuPaul Roast. Do you all know Leslie Jordan? Woo! Don't lie, I know you don't. <laughs> Leslie Jordan is the only man on earth to a <laughs> more gay men than Michelle Visage. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Visage, you can take the girl out of New Jersey, but you can't keep the girl from giving blowjobs to homeless men along the New Jersey turnpike. <laughs> But we're here celebrating RuPaul. RuPaul, you've been in the industry a long, 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 <laughs> long, long, long time. <laughs> RuPaul is so old that the Hindenburg disaster nearly destroyed her bat mitzvah. <laughs> RuPaul is so old that her colostomy bag is made of wood. <laughs> RuPaul is so old that when she opens her legs, all you hear is, She's done movies, music, television, and I have just one thing to say. Please stop immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mama, we love you. Y'all, I'm so happy to be here. I've never been out the house. It's been a long time, y'all. I'm Rue Good Cousin from the Brewster Projects. She didn't know I was coming tonight. You didn't know I was gonna be here, did you? No. <laughs> and Michelle, you go back with Michelle farther than you go back with me. You knew Michelle when Michelle was Michael. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm flipping through the channel, I say, you see Ru? Ru on TV. I say, what the hell is he thinking? You know, at the beginning of the show, you come in a room, girl. Hello, hello. Girl, you look like the black Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Pants so hot. He look like he in New Orleans and Hurricane Katrina, girl. <laughs> Friends and loved ones, to pay tribute to the Lady Bunny, please welcome Monet Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the life, liberty, and illiteracy of our dear friend, Lady Bunny. <laughs> Many know her as Lady Bunny, but I like to go by her original drag name, Methuselah. <laughs> or as they know her down at the clinic, Patient Zero. <laughs> she was often called the Beyonce of drag, not because she was rich and beautiful or famous, but because she looked like she was carrying twins. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that big bloated bitch in that box. <laughs> Have you ever seen an out of drag? Anybody? Category is Ben Franklin the Michelin Man. Amen. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a story when we all went on tour. Bunny expressed that she wanted to eat a little Mexican. Poor little Valentina didn't stand a chance. <laughs> hey, y'all. 
Thank you, pheromone. <laughs> Ross, everyone says that your voice is annoying and high-pitched, but I actually love the sound of your voice right now. <laughs> Don't talk. Don't talk. <laughs> Michelle Visage, Michelle, Michelle. Not since Destiny's Child has a Michelle become so famous for riding somebody else's coattail. <laughs> RuPaul, all smiles. Ross, all smiles. Michelle, poker face. No, seriously, someone poke her face. It, it doesn't even move. Michelle says no to everything. Michelle, you like my dress? No. You like my makeup? No. Bitch, where the hell were you when somebody asked you if you wanted to write that book? <laughs> it's a great book, Michelle said no one. <laughs> Honestly, I fell in love with you, Michelle, watching you and RuPaul on VH1, and I'm so honored to share this moment with you, so thank you. Happy 90th birthday, Michelle. <laughs> Order in the courtroom, hunty. It's Judge Judy. Hey, Your Honor. Did you forget you were coming to court today dressed like that? You look like a damn roll of scotch tape. Well, I thought it was... You don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have two-time Academy Award-winning actress, Dame Maggie Smith, is with us. How are you, my dear? Well, past a certain age, one just feels fortunate to see the sunrise another day. Yes, <laughs> yes, Maggie Smith. Well, now, let's just uh, keep it Mr. Charles and Dame Smith, shall we? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. First up, Heather McDonald. Cher is completely addicted to social media. Even her blank has a Twitter account. I said even her wig has a Twitter account. Let's go to the stars and find out what they wrote down. Judge Judy. Her old nose. Not a match, unfortunately, but... She it has been like three or four. Yeah, she's been touched by an angel. Yeah. <laughs> and she looks great. I agree, and you know, I agree, and so does Officer Bird. <laughs> It is correct, Judge Judy. Not a match, Your Honor. Baloney! Baloney, sir! I'm ready for a fried baloney sandwich, my friend. <laughs> All right, Dame Maggie Smith. Cher, completely addicted to social media. Even her blank has a Twitter account. Well, Rupal. Rupal, is it? Yes, absolutely. Rupal. I understood uh, virtually none of the words that left your lips moments ago, but uh, I did hear the term Twitter, and I assume that it's some sort of a songbird. Very close. <laughs> Not a match. Am I to understand that one yanks one's telephone right out of the wall and carries it with him? <laughs> yes. Well, can you get people to that speak normal English next time for the show? Excuse me, we originated the language. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, Heather. That Chelsea Handler is so wrong. She's launching a new vodka. It's flavored with blank. Xanax. Xanax! <laughs> What a great idea! Dame Maggie Smith. Well, I'm unfamiliar with the work of Lady Handler. However, I did think that it would be rather amusing if there were a libation flavored with citrus. <laughs> Can you imagine such a thing? <laughs> that is really newfangled. I can't imagine such a thing. Yes. <laughs> First up, it is my honor to introduce the legendary abolitionist, Harriet Tubman. Harriet, is Harriet, oh, Harriet Tubman. Hi, Harriet Tubman. Mm-hmm. I see all this room full of white people up here now. I got nerves. Yeah, well, I can understand that. When you hear I'm coming, you got to get low. Yes, but you've evaded the white folks for I a long time. I've them for years yeah. on the Underground Railroad. Huh? But here for the Snatch Game, babe. Yes, it's all for a good cause. It's all for a good cause. Yes. Sabrina! <laughs> Next, she's a businesswoman, socialite, and DJ, please welcome Paris Hilton. Hey, Rue, how's it going? Just let me know when the cameras are rolling and we'll kill it. Well, we've started. The cameras are rolling. Uh, oh, That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. My goodness, your voice changed just then when you found out that we were on camera. You're so obsessed with me. It's everything. I 
kind of am you're obsessed so, with you. Oh you're so hot. Raven, it's feel familiar at all? You know what? I played it safe that time, so let's hope you're not doing the same. <laughs> I saw that on TV. That was <laughs> rude. <laughs> From Queer Eye, it's Jonathan Van Ness. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, gorgeous seashell flower monkey, honey bunches of love. It is so good to be here, Haney. <laughs> oh my God, your hair is so gorgeous. What's the secret to keeping your hair silky smooth? Praying to the gay Jesus himself, me. <laughs> All right, I ask a question, and you give an answer that you think will match our celebrities. All right, our first question is for Raven. Cancel culture is out of control. Last week, Winnie the Pooh got canceled for blanking in the forest. We're going to get some answers from our celebrities over here. All right, Raven, what say you? I believe Winnie the Pooh would have been canceled for scatting in the forest. For scatting in the, like a Elvis like Gerald. Elvis. <laughs> That's right. Let's go to the celebrities and see if you have any matches. Raven, what say you, Paris? I was on a flight back from Ibiza yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's in Spain, right? I think. Yes. I just go to sleep with a couple pills, wake up, and DJ. <laughs> what songs do you like to play when you're DJing? I honestly just press play and hope for the best. <laughs> there was a girl, Winnie, on my flight, oh. and I mentally counseled her because she smelled insane. <laughs> and so I wrote smelling. <laughs> Two words to describe who's killing it. That's hot. <laughs> All right, so let's go to Porkchop for our next question. Porkchop, you ready to play? I hope. All right, listen to this question. When it gets super hot in Palm Springs, Ross Matthews fries his eggs on blank. Celebrities, get to writing. Are the celebrities ready? Uh, OK. <laughs> it looks like Harriet Tubman is validating some parking. Harriet, do you have a stamp? Let me tell you what they did to me up in this country. Oh, what have they done? OK, they done told me I was going to be put on the $20 bill. And then yeah. this mother got in the office and said, oh, we going to snatch that. Oh. So you know what I did? What? I just put myself on a $100 bill. How about that, bill? <laughs> Harriet Tubman, she keeps it 100. <laughs> OK, all right, her job. When it gets super hot in Palm Springs, Ross Matthews fries his eggs on blank. Carson Kressley. Ooh! Let's go to Jonathan Van Ness. I've heard of this Carson Kressley character. That's right, he's original Fab Five. Right, let's just say I was a replacement, a little younger, a little more supple. <laughs> Ross Matthews fries his eggs on what? Now, the only thing hotter than Palm Springs is our resident culinary expert, Antony. So I wrote, Antony's ass cheek. <laughs> hey, so do you have a type? I do have a thing for men with the kind of beards that say, hold me in your arms until all the pain goes away, but also power drills are on aisle seven, Annie. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on down to Harriet Tubman. Who would you have portray you in the movie of your life? Ooh. Jennifer Lewis, maybe? Yes, Jennifer Lewis. You know the white people, they always think they can do every goddamn thing, so let her go. Well, Jennifer Lewis is not white. Jennifer Lewis! Yeah. Not Jennifer Lawrence. Je no, no, not Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, I done got my Jennifer Smith up. Oh. Simone, I hope you know Jennifer Lewis is coming for that ass. All right, let's go to our next question. This one is for Raven. Last night, Michelle Visage cheated on her vegan diet. She missed the taste of blank. All right, Raven, she missed the taste of... Pork chops. <laughs> let's go to Paris Hilton. Now, I venture to say you've never had pork chops before. I have not, but my sister just married a Rothschild, so I'm the poor sister now. <laughs> Last night, Michelle Visage cheated on her vegan diet. She missed the taste of? I'm going to stick with what I know here to be safe. Okay. And so I wrote huge <laughs> <laughs> Sticking with what we know. All right, not a match for Raven. I'm not good at this, Raven. Right? <laughs> I'm kind of... This little devil needs no introduction. It's Satan. <laughs> People call me the devil, Satan, Michelle Visage. 
Lucifer, but you can call me Lucy with an I. All my life, too. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Nas X recorded a duet with Lady Bunny. Oh, wow. Their song is called Old Blank Road. Old Clown Road. Okay. <laughs> right? Right. All right, let's go to our celebrities and find out if you have any matches. All right, let's move on down to the one, the only, Lucifer. Now, you worked with Little Nas X recently, didn't I you? I did, the I video did. video together. What was the lap dance like? I was like, yes, queen, yes. <laughs> you worked out on my lap, yeah. <laughs> We're looking for old clown rope. I said old bottom road. Old bottom <laughs> yeah. road. That makes sense. Oh, good, Angie. I've been down that road. Yeah, yeah. they just repaved it. Yeah, yeah. did they really? They did. They got rid of the speed bump. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. <laughs> well, thank you, Satan. Not a match, but very close. <laughs> All right, this next question is for Michelle. Okay. Bianca Del Rio is so lucky. How lucky is she? she? Well, she recently hosted the Westminster Dog Show, and she ended up winning the award for best blank. Bitch. Best bitch. All right, let's go to our celebrities and see what they wrote. Starting with Satan, are you ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're looking for bitch. What say you, Satan? I personally know uh, Bianca. She is my protege. Okay. And um, <laughs> when I retire, she will be taking over. Oh, great. Yeah. Good to know. And so I said best in bitch face, because she looks like a hound. Okay. Let's go to the judges and see what they said. The judges say it's a match. Thanks, Lucy. Oh, thank you. Love you, mean it. It's the legend, the one and only, Judy Garland is here. Hello, Rue. Yes. It's, it's so wonderful to be here. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful to be anywhere, really. Yes. You know, I've been dead for quite some time. <laughs> Judy, I've always wanted to ask you, what is over that darn rainbow? Well, it's a set, Rue. It's not, it's not real. <laughs> It's a cardboard set, darling. It didn't go anywhere. It's Hollywood. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. All right, our first question is for Michelle Vassar. Cash. How can you tell Chris Hemsworth, Chris Pine, and Chris Evans apart? Chris Hemsworth's blank is bigger. Hammer. Hammer. Let's move on down to Judy Garland. Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. His blank is bigger. We're looking for Hammer. Broom, I don't know if oh, I'm... No, no. I, I don't think I'm playing the game correctly. Well... I, I said his last name is bigger. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like I was supposed to have written something filthy. No, 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 no. no. If you want a filthy story, you want that? I'll, I would I'll do it. I love a filthy yeah. story. Oh, yes. yes. Well, did I ever tell you about the time I was in a Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra sandwich, <laughs> and Frank Sinatra's penis was so big. <laughs> How big was it? When I was doing a line of coke off of it, I had to stop halfway through to catch my breath. <laughs> That we're at the midway point. Yeah. Is that my camera? <laughs> oh. Don't be jealous oh. of my boogie. <laughs> you can say that you are not. <laughs> but I always see you looking. <laughs> That was good, Judy. Hey. That was good, Judy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Candy Muse has yeah. become a hometown hero back in the Bronx. In fact, they even named a blank after her. A bodega. Candy Muse bodega named after Candy Wouldn't Muse. Wouldn't you shop at that bodega? I, yes. would, I would buy everything there. Thank yeah. you. All right, let's move on down to the great, the one and only Judy Garland. Judy, we're looking for a bodega. 
sandwich. Oh, it's a sandwich. <laughs> the candy muse sandwich. It's steak and eggs yes. between two pork chops. Okay. I used to make it for Liza when yeah. she was cranky. As a mother would. Of course. And I'd like to take a moment. Is that my camera? Yes. I'd like to take a moment. You see, there's a veteran named Dave <laughs> who's been on your show, and he said uh, he was worried that he killed me. <laughs> I think I might have killed Judy Garland. And I want to say, Dave, if you're watching, you're not responsible, darling. It's, it's all right. You're forgiven. Yes. There you go. Dave, you're off the hook, honey. That sound means oh. time is up. Oh. Until next time, don't forget to have your snatch Spade and neuter. Yay! Say goodnight, everybody. Good night, everybody. Do we have time for one more? Yes, of <laughs> course we do. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> start your engines. <laughs> May the first woman win. <laughs> they changed it to drag queen. <laughs>Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel and you will get all